how we can change the level in Unreal Engine using open level and then we're going to see how we can change level in uh, Unreal Engine using persistent level. So let's start. So this is my <coughs> so here you can see I have put in a default scene. And this is I found from and uh, marketplace. I'm using the marketplace, and this asset is called Freeze Realistic Forest Plant Pack. You can download it. And I am using another uh, asset pack, which is called Infinity Blade Pack, which is actually free. And you can also download it from uh, Unreal Engine Marketplace. So this basically a very basic scene that I don't, uh, I didn't modify anything at all. So we're going to change the level, level from this level to our great example map. Let's let's open it, and this is the scene we're going to uh, uh, transfer to. We want to transfer to. So let's start with the first example. So in order to change the level. We need a, 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 uh, something to trigger uh, our tail unreal to change the level. So let's. So how can we do that? We can add a trigger box here. Uh, this is a box trigger box. And let's scale it. This will do. So whenever, so whenever we walk around this area. Uh, and it will change the level into this level. So right now it will not do anything. Let's play it and you can see if I walk into here, nothing happened because we didn't tell Unreal to change the level yet. So let's select the uh, select the box trigger. I'm selecting it here. Uh, with selecting uh, well it's selected go to the blueprint open level blueprint and here we're going to write some code uh, so the first code we're going to use is uh, on to begin overlap you can see since we already selected in here it's selected in here let me show it like this it will show up in here. Begin on after begin overlap. You can see the trigger box is selected. Now we're going to add one node which is called open level. And this is a very simple node and it's asking for a level name. So let's rename this level. Press F2. Control C to copy and paste it here. Now, if we now play the play again, you can see it's changed to this level. We don't know if it's there when we play the game you can see it's blank to identify that there is something in here we're going to add some particle effect in here and which is in we found in an infinity blade pack and if we go to the effect effects something like which one we're going to use? Maybe this one. So at least we don't know where to go to change the level. So let's play it. So if we go there, uh, let's change the level. Now, how can we go back from uh, which level is there? From where the bridge is Yeah. Okay. So 
how can I come back from that level? Which is the forest uh, arcs example matrix. Let's open this. Okay, the same is loaded. Now in here, let's add a trigger box in here. Maybe around this block. Somewhere in this block. So let's add again. We are going to add a trigger box. Let's scale it. And to identify that there is a trigger box in here, we're going to add another effect in here. Let's add something. I think about this one. Well, since it's repeat, we can use this. Now again, with the, with, uh, we're going to select the trigger box first. Open the level blueprint. First, select the trigger box. We need to add on factor begin overlap. Now, let's open level, and the level name will be this. So now it should works fine. To play. Get into here, and if you go there, it will come back to the first scene. And if you go there, it will come back, uh, take us to the uh, art scene. So, this is how you can uh, change the level uh, from one, one level to another.